Hello everyone, welcome to Good Morning Tarot. Now this is this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. So just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there might be a message here for you. Now let's try to see what is the main energy at the start of the day. Okay, we have here the four of pentacles. Usually the classical four of pentacles is uh, a picture of a sense of insecurity, uh, like uh, a sense of want. What comes to me right now is some of you might feel at this time there's a certain uh, instability in economy, a little less than we usually have. So in a certain sense, maybe we are uh, a little bit a little bit tight in our economy for some. Okay, for some it can be also we are a little bit worried about our health at this moment, and so we are a little bit guarded. We are a little bit protective at this moment. Um, what comes to me right now is a reminder for us to always remember that we are not alone and that we don't have to worry too much about what we need. All we need to do is to ask and we will receive. Now, sometimes there are moments that we undergo wherein there is a certain sense of insecurity with regards to our uh, finance or our economy or our health. Uh, there are moments when we need to, you know, tighten the belt a little bit. But we can always look at it in a positive sense. It's a reminder for us that we don't have to handle life's challenges alone. There's always the divine in our life that is always just there and waiting for us to ask for assistance. It's also an exercise for us also to try to see which is our priority in our life. Uh, what comes to me also here is uh, self-care, self-love. For some of us, maybe with regards to health, we are maybe overdraining ourselves with service. And then we need to take some pause so that we can take care of ourselves. Because if we are already drained of our energies and everything, then we will not have anything else to give to the world. We need to balance between caring for others and also caring for ourselves. At the same time also for our resources, maybe this is a reminder for us to try to see where we are investing our resources on. Maybe there is a need for us to moderate also the way we invest on certain things. But at the same time, I, I guess the most important thing here is the card reminds us that no matter whatever trial we have, we can always ask assistance from the Divine in our life. When we look at our life situation, at this moment in our life, we were able to make it through, despite all the challenges we've had. The usual thing is that, for example, we have certain commitments that we need to pay for, uh, and oftentimes we worry until the day of the payment. But then, when that day comes, oftentimes, with the help of the Divine, we always make it through. We look back through many years wherein we have a lot of challenges with regards to security, but then when those moments comes for us to give our commitment, we somehow, in one way or another, are able to make it through. So somehow, whatever insecurity we have right now, somehow the card reminds us we are not alone and there's need, no need for us to worry. There's always, we, we do our part and the rest we entrust to the divine and also our inner realm. And to allow also 
are the inner realm to guide us. So there's a need for us to be receptive. When we look at this card, we see this lady. She's holding on to whatever limited resources she has left. But her eyes are closed as if trying to see what is the best route for her at this moment. Now let's try to see how this will further unfold. Okay, so there will really be quite a challenge here. Uh, it's not only a sense of insecurity with regards to resources, but also limitation in options. So this is sort of like a challenging time for whoever resonates with these cards. So at this time, for some of us also, uh, with these limited resources, it is coupled by uh, limitation also of options. You might be encountering certain doors closing before you. Now, again, you see here, this person, the challenge is not to despair, but to take a pause, like the lady in the Four of Pentacles and to try to see where you are being led by the divine. It can be that at this time, for example, if you have a certain direction you want to go and you see that the door is closed, maybe you need to take a pause, close your eyes, be receptive. There might be a key waiting to be discovered. So sometimes, there's a need for us to take a pause and try to see, maybe even distance ourselves from the situation and try to see, why is there a closed door? Or is the divine directing us to another path? Why are doors closing? Sometimes doors are closing because maybe the lesson that we need to learn in a certain situation in our life has already been accomplished and it's time for us to move on to something new it can be that way maybe also the limited resources is also sort of like a closed door and it's like the universe telling us it's time for you to move on to something new so we need also to consider that when a door closes we need to look around maybe there's another path we are being led to it can be another open door or an open window or maybe a small path that we need to go through that is often unseen. So when the door is closed, take a pause. Say a little prayer, Lord, where do you want me to go? If resources are starting to be limited, maybe you are also being called to another path. Now, however, Sometimes also it's a training for us to be patient and to listen. If this person is patient enough and opens her eyes, be receptive to the environment, she will notice that the key is just nearby. It can be also that the answer to the problems that you are encountering is just there before you. But because you are affected emotionally or maybe in a other sense or maybe the anxiety is already there because of the difficulty of the situation, we no longer are able to see the key which, is, which could be just in front of us. So we need also to look at things and try to see. It's very interesting that there's the four and five of pentacles following each other. It can symbolize that it is a really a series of things happening. Number four, number five, maybe even number nine are important to you, maybe at this time. But it's a progression. So these things will progress and maybe you need to listen. It's either the universe is asking you to be patient, to take a pause, to maybe even do some self-care maybe it's time for you to care for yourself or it can be also that the universe is asking you to take a new endeavor or follow a new
direction. Now let's try to see what is the advice of the universe for us. See, you really need to immerse yourself. We have here the moon card. You really need to take a pause. Listen to your inner self. Listen to your intuition. Listen to the messages coming from the moon, from the environment, from the universe, from the divine, from your spirit guides. You need to listen. I think these cards are inviting you to take a pause and to listen. Maybe you are in a period of transition. Try to see. Maybe for some of you, you are being asked to take a new path or to take a new endeavor. Or for some of us, this can be also a lesson of patience or a lesson of developing inner strength. So try to see how these cards resonate with you. Now let's go to Good Morning Oracle using the Cosmic Reading Cards and let's try to see what is the Oracle message for today. Emotions. If we put this card of the moon, maybe we are being called to listen to our emotions. The lady is immersing herself in the water. When we immerse ourselves in the water, it's only the water that we hear. And so it's like that. We need to go inside ourselves and to listen. To listen to the inner messages. Maybe the key to this financial or health or economical challenge or whatever sense of insecurity that you are having at this time. The key is maybe is just in front of us and we need to listen so that we can see the key. Maybe we need to listen to the instructions so that we will be able to make ourselves out of a tight situation. We need to listen to the guidance coming from the universe, from the divine, from our spirit guides, from our angels, our ancestors, so that we will be able to free ourselves from a tight situation. You don't have to handle it alone. Ask and you will receive. Listen so that you will find the right answers to whatever questions you have at this time. Listen to your emotions. Be aware of your emotions. If at this time you feel a need to change course, listen. If right now you feel a need to distance yourself from a situation, listen. Do it. Follow it. Let go and let the Spirit allow yourself to be guided especially in those closed doors. Listen so that the universe can show you the key to that problem or show you open windows or new paths or other doors. Listen also so, so that the universe can guide you to the oasis that you might be looking for at this time. Listen to your emotions and attend to your emotions. If you feel tired, then give yourself time. If you need to free yourself, go to another place, then do so. Listen to your emotions. And maybe there is a need for you also to try to see. If your emotions are predominantly negative, then maybe you need to create a certain space for yourself so that you can regain a more positive energy to free yourself from the despair, to free yourself from insecurity. Maybe you need to treat yourself a little bit more and to try to change the energies and your emotions to something more positive. And I think the first thing there is to know that you don't have to handle this alone. You can ask from other people, but most importantly, you can ask from the divine and your 
spirit guides to help you. Well, that's it for today. I hope that this reading has helped you or is helping you at this moment. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.